Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to set keyframes in Maya. So here we have a cube. Um, if we want to set a key at the beginning of the animation, I'm just going to go to frame one. Um, so the easy way to do it is to just hit S on your keyboard. And you can see over here all of the attributes on this object turned red. That means there's a key on that attribute. Right, so if I go to the next frame, now they turn pink. That means there is a key on that attribute, but not on this frame. So let's go to frame 10 and maybe, well, I'm gonna turn this off. This is the auto key. So I'll explain that in just a second, but um, I have that off right now. So I'm gonna, I'm on frame 10. I'm gonna move my cube over here, rotate it and even make it smaller. Okay, so all my values changed. And say I wanted to actually only put keys on a specific attribute like translation. To do that, you can hold Shift W. W is the hotkey for translation, right? Um, e is the hotkey for orientation, rotation, and R is the hotkey for scale. So any of those, if you hold Shift before you hit that key, so Shift. E, you can see it put a key on the rotations of the object. Um, so now I can go to like a different frame, they're all pink again, and see it didn't set a key on the scale because I didn't have that one keyed. So it popped back to one. So if you if you ever <clears throat> have a key on something, well, sort of, if you ever change something, change an attribute, the value of an attribute on an object, and then without setting a key on that frame, you move to another key, the object is gonna snap back to what it was on the last time you set a key. So for this, the first time I had a key on it, it said one. So here I changed the scale, right? And there's not a key on scale right now. So if I move keys, I mean, yeah, move keyframes, then it pops back to one. So now I have, anyway, I have keys on frame one and frame 10. So as I'm sliding back and forth, you can see that it's interpolating between those. It's giving us Maya built in-betweens. So let's take a look at the auto key now. First, I'm gonna delete these keys um, to delete a key. I'm holding down shift, uh, left clicking and dragging on the timeline to select it, and it displays in red. And then I can right click on that and hit delete. If if you do this, and then you hit delete on your keyboard, it'll delete the object, actually. So you have to delete it from that menu. I'm gonna undo that, control Z, and shift, click and drag, right click, and delete those keyframes. So now let's play with auto key here. So if I put auto key, watch this. I'm on frame one, and I'm gonna to go to frame 10 and move it, right? And go back, and it didn't set any keys. The reason it didn't set any keys is because auto key will only automatically put a key on an attribute that already has at least one key on it. So if I want it to start setting auto keys, let's uh, just put rotation back to zero. I'm gonna put to shift E to, to key the rotations. Right, so now I can go to any frame and rotate it again and see it turned red on the on the rotations. <laughs> so now I can go to this frame, rotate it here, this frame, rotate it here, and it set a key on all those by itself. But if I was to now translate it, go to this frame, translate it, this frame, translate it, right? I don't have any keys on translate already, so it's it's just staying there. So make sure if you're going to use auto key that you have keys on the frames you're going to use. There's another issue that comes up with auto key and that is that people forget to put a key on everything. So for example, with your characters, if you spend all your time making a pose and then there's something that you don't key on that pose, but the pose looks, you get it all nice and you set it all up and you, it just so happens that the shoulder, for example, is 
already in place, but then a few frames later, you make a new pose where you actually move that shoulder, then you'll go back to your pose where you, um, that you had before, and now the shoulder's gonna be moved because you didn't have a key on it. So if that makes sense. So a solution for that is if you ever are animating your character and you have a, a pose that you think is perfect, right? Like this is the pose that I want. It fits my thumbnails and everything and it works great. Just grab everything and set keys on that so that you're not gonna lose it. Otherwise you move a couple frames down and now it's gonna break the pose you just spent all that time on. So and that's an issue with auto key just because people get a little bit lazy and forget that um, Maya doesn't care what your poses are. <laughs> like Maya just cares that like where there's keys and it interpolates between them. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. A quick recap, S sets a key on everything and then you hold shift W, E, or R to set keys on the individual attributes if, if you want to do it that way. And then to delete a key, you have to right click on it on the timeline and actually hit delete in this uh, menu. So there you go. Have an awesome day.